Hey there, this is L.A. Smith from KK Ministry. I want you guys to watch this video with me. It's a video about Russian spy ship, about a Russian spy ship spotted 30 miles off the east coast of the United States. The country of Russia is ramping up aggression toward the United States at this minute. First, by sending a spy ship just miles off the East Coast, and then violating a Cold War nuclear treaty with a missile launch. Yep, and there was even a third incident. Kristen Fisher live at the White House with all eyes on the Trump administration's next move after all the controversy on uh, Monday night. That's right. And some new developments happening right now. That Russian spy ship is on the move. It's now just 30 miles south of Groton, Connecticut, which is home to a Navy submarine base. Uh, and U.S. officials describe that Russian spy ship as loitering. Now, that's a... Not only is it 30 miles away, it's still in the international waters, but it's just 30 miles away from a United States naval submarine base. How much more provocative can you get? The move north from where it was yesterday, uh, which is about 70 miles off the coast of Delaware in international waters, and this Russian ship is armed with surface-to-air missiles. Then on Friday, four Russian jets buzzed a U.S. Navy destroyer in the Black Sea, a move that Senator John McCain called a, quote, significant military threat. And third, yesterday we learned that back in December, the Kremlin secretly de deployed a new cruise missile inside Russia. Now, that's a big deal because it's an apparent violation of an arms control treaty that was signed towards the end of the Cold War. Add it all up, and according to Fox News contributor, retired General Jack Keane, you can see that Russia is clearly trying to test our new president. Are they just trying to test our new president? Or are they ready to come up in the United States? I mean, this is very, very provocative. And we haven't heard anything from Donald Trump regarding this. Where is he on Twitter? Normally he would tweet something about this. I mean, about what he would do and how, um, you know, he would protect the country we hear nothing. Why? What they're trying to do, Martha, is humiliate and embarrass the United States, particularly in our allies, and rattle them and, and give them the impression that the United States isn't the strong military uh, nation that it has been in the past, and its leadership is not strong. That's it. They disrespected Trump big time. They think the country is weak. They see what's, what's going on, and they may. This is total speculation. Can I speculate? You know, sometimes my speculations, a lot of times they're correct. They're on point. But they may have something on Donald Trump. And because they do, they really see him as weak because he can't act. Because if he did, they'll tell his little secret. Let's see what happens in the rest of the video. This is obviously done with Mr. Trump in mind, clearly. And they want to see what his reaction is. Now, President Trump has already tweeted five times this morning. So far, nothing directly about these latest provocations, though he did tweet this, quote, Crimea was taken by Russia during the Obama administration. Was Obama too soft on Russia? So we'll see if President Trump is any tougher than his predecessor. Right. Right, Nancy and Steve? And it's Okay, now we'll sit back and watch and see what Mr. Trump is going to say and do. Stay tuned.